Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have some more Olight stuff. They have a big sale, new product release, everything else going on right now, starting, I believe, the night, well, tonight that I'm making the video, but it may be out tomorrow. So jump right down there, grab that link if you're interested in any of this, and go check out what they have on their site. And let's see what they sent me. I'm trying to actually put some old painter's tape on here to cover up information but i never have been too paranoid on this channel if you like tools you're usually a pretty good person from what i can tell so anyway we're gonna pop this open and see what they've come out with this month there we go oh goodness it's a whole box of goodies <laughs> this is the knife from their last release i really like this one it, the scales are kind of funky. It's got that weird yellow and kind of clear, but I love that Rubato 4. That's what that one is. And this is a Rubato 4 too. Right on top, we have a Rubato 4. See if that'll actually focus for you guys right there. There you go. Pop this open. Let's see what this knife looks like. These, there's some cool stuff down in there, and they've been kind of posting some teasers on their page. They're having the big product announcement and everything this evening on the Olight page so if you're interested in watching those kind of things they do quite a production i love all their packaging they they kind of go all out on these deals all kinds of goodies in there so this came in a nice pack like this right here a little pouch and one side has the soft velcro on it kind of so if you wanted to have patches on here you probably could it's just the soft so you'd have to have some with the with the grippy side of Velcro on them. Pop this open, and we do get a coin in this one. These actually make some kind of kind of cool little EDC pouches if you, if you like to do that sort of thing. Here's this one right here. Check out that little, that's the little coin with this knife right there, both sides of it. It's got the O knife on one side. Some people really collect these things. So anyway, I like to at least keep them in good shape. But I'm more into the actual knives myself. There's your pouch. That's what you have inside. You got a little little spot here you can put some things. Got some Velcro on the front. Has some straps right here so you can put some more stuff over there. I kind of like these for little bitty tool kits. But I tend to just get the knives on out and use them. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty right there? Look at the scales on that knife. And it is the axis lock right there on the side. So it'll open just like that. It's going to look... It's a Rubato 4, so it's the exact same layout as that yellow one that we had last time. The blade is CPM S35VN, which is the exact same steel as the one from last time. That's a couple of nice knives. I really like that. I like that blade shape and all. It's just nice. And then that axis lock, of course, where you can just flip it like that and close it. I'm not as handy as some at it yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting where I have quite a few knives like this. So the clips are slightly different on these two, if you were looking. This one has a really, really like this. This is a classy clip. I have to see how it holds up and does on my pants and stuff, though. See that right there? It's really flat, low profile, where this is a more standard clip style that was on the old one. Or not old, but the one from, I think, last month, actually. Okay, next item. They are releasing the O-Clip in orange and I haven't even gotten one of these yet and I like the idea so much I've already ordered another one myself not that Olight sent me by the way I know a lot of us don't like to mess with TikTok too much but I have a I have a little channel over on there and uh, there are some steals to be had on TikTok I grabbed another one of these and with all the coupons and everything I think I checked out for right around nine dollars so they had like a 45% off this and that. This is a clip just like that. And it, I believe this fits into molly webbing too. So this is one slick little light right here. Let's see if it's in lockout mode. There we go. See, you have a nice little light right there on the front. Clip on the back. And it has some grip inside there too for holding on to whatever you put it on. You could just clip it on your shirt pocket. You could put it on your hat brim shining down if you needed to. There's like a so many things you can do with a little light like that. Let's, let me see. I don't know if it has, yep, look at there. Three different modes, and I mean that top one, that top one is, is mighty bright. 
I didn't even look to see what the top lumens on that is, but we will real quick here. High is, well, it looks like 300 lumens. That's pretty good from a little bitty light like that. Look how tiny that is. It's just nothing in your hand. I'm a bigger fan than I was before, and I've just been looking at these on their pictures, and I didn't realize how handy and small those little deals were. It's magnetic. The back is magnetic right there. It's stuck to my desk. Well, there you go. Now you can also stick it on your refrigerator. So next things in here. We've got another little multifunction knife. I'm going to do that at the end because this is also one of their kind of big new releases right here. 5,000 lumens. This is the Olight Prowess. Let's see if you can check out the specs on that baby right there. I bet this is one awesome light. I'm looking forward to opening this one up. It has a little bit more features than just being a flashlight to it. So let's check it out. I really... I am out here. I've been pouring concrete all morning for a restaurant project. And uh, I just wanted to get out here and get this video made. So we're heading to we're heading to Silver Dollar City and go to take the kids to Branson this afternoon. So I really wanted to take some of these cool lights and things that they sent with me. Like, well, I have to go get the unboxing done. So here's how everything will open on this. Just like that. That's even got rubber on the back of that. Protective film on the lens and the battery. Okay, this has a, a little clip-on deal right here. It's got a whole sheath situation going on. I like that. Always remove these from Olights. The Olights, a lot of them, they put out so many lumens, they get extremely hot. And you can melt that right onto your lens if you're not careful. And then you open this, and that plastic will come out there. This has a 5,000 milliamp hour inside it. And, of course, it's got the magnetic charging right here on the back. And that will probably be in this little side deal. Well, it has a USB-C charger in here. Goodness, there's a lot of extras in, this, in with this light. Here's some kind of mount with 3M. Okay. Man, Olight, they have fun when they make a new item. Okay, so I assume then this is a wall mount spot for this sheath to hang. How cool is that? I like it. So you can screw it to the wall or 3M it to the wall, and then your, your light will clip right in there just like that if you want to hang it on your wall. Display it. Comes with the mounting screws and all that good stuff. Let's see what the other item is in here. Could it be a charging base? It's a charging base. So instead of, you know, having to use your just your little one in your in your vehicle or wherever you have your charger, this has the magnetic charging base and it looks like dual charging rings on this. So I bet it charges even a little faster. See that snaps right on. And now you'll actually have USB-C to plug into that charging base and charge this. So you can leave this on your desk, wherever, and be all set just like that. It's got, well, that pops down. There's actually threads in the bottom of this that I bet you, I bet you it's quarter 20. It looks like tripod size threads. So anyway, for whatever uses you could come up with for that, let's see if we're in lockout mode. Oh, check that out. See the bottom of that? It lights up. It's almost like one of those little yard light deals. Oh, and it's kind of stepless brightening right there. Check that out. And it's magnetic, of course, on the base. That's where the charger is. But you can sit this down and use it like a camping lantern, light up your whole room. That's cool right there. Isn't that neat? Shining out the bottom. And see, the light's not even on. It's all right there. A little ring of, ring of light right around the base. Let's see if we can hold that down. Look at that. It'll dim right down. And now it's just barely glowing there. Okay, then you just flip the little switch right here. And it will turn into the front flashlight, which should go all the way up to 5,000 lumens on the front. And it has a really nice blue bezel right there. Kind of got a little crenellations on that bezel. Look at that flashlight lens right there. Isn't that awesome? Another peek at that charging. And here are the control switches for it. It has just a switch to flip from forward to back. There's no complicated holding down the button to switch between modes. You'll immediately know... If you're in top mode or flashlight mode. And you can just flip right between them. 
no problem. And this has what appears to be the little shake deal where you can actually wake this up or when you turn it on, it will have a green light right in the center of here if your battery is good. So how cool is that? So we know this is 5,000 lumens, but let's see, turbo mode. So normally with turbo mode, yep, yeah, there we go. They have a set number of clicks you push to enter turbo mode. Woo, sorry. We're going to have to have a trigger warning for that one. It has strobe in there too with a triple click. So double click takes you straight to 5,000 lumens. Triple click will take you to strobe. Ready for strobe? There's strobe right there. So that would be very disorienting if somebody did that. It's kind of like a self-defense tool, I assume. I hate strobe on flashlights. I'm glad they have it behind three clicks because it's going to very rarely be a problem unless I do it like I did a second ago. So 5,000 on turbo, 1,200 on high, medium is 300, low is 50, and the little moonlight, which normally, yeah, if you just press and hold, it'll come on on moonlight, which is five lumens. If you run it on five lumens right there, which I love for a lot of little tasks, it doesn't blow your night vision out, it will run for 20 days on five lumens. If you switch it up to low, 50 hours, medium, 10 hours. On high, then they start doing their split time with 150 minutes plus 30 more minutes. At 150 minutes at 1,200, 30 minutes at 300. It'll automatically step itself down to keep operating while the battery gets drained. So anyway, on the backlight, turbo on the backlight... It has turbo on the backlight. Woo, I tell you what, there you go. 800 lumens on the backlight of this deal. How awesome is that? But then if you go to, let's see if we can, moonlight, two lumens and we'll run 20 days with it like that. Just like a little, almost like one of those little yard lights. 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It's 143 millimeters long and weighs 269 grams. So, it's a, it's a hefty little light, but a really nice shape in the hand. I, I like that. I could see that being super handy when you're working, and you don't want that beam just right where you're looking, or you're out camping, anything magnetic there on the base. You can just stick it on. You can turn that bottom light on, turn it right up to whatever you want. It will just brighten right up, or just go right to turbo. That's, that's pretty slick. And the knife's a winner, too, this time. Okay, we have one last thing. Let's take a look at it. So this is their new multifunction knife, the OKS2. The handle's aluminum. The blade is, well, if I can tell if that's a DIN, maybe a DIN, 1.4116 stainless steel. So there's a little look at the front of that before we pop it open. And let's see what kind of features it has and try out our brand new knife here to do that. Pop this open. I tell you what, I love my job. I do. I really do. I love construction. I love doing these videos. I love all the cool stuff I get to play with that gets sent to me. It's just fun, y'all. Okay, let's check this thing out. This has a whole bunch of stuff. It's almost like a little like a little version of a leather man. Let's see. It's got a lock on one side. Let's see. There's a knife right there. What all do we have in here? Okay, this comes out and is interesting because I don't even know what I'm getting into. I see scissors in here. I see scissors in here, but as cool as they are, oh, there they are. Okay, you roll it right out. You gotta be smarter than the tool. And look at those. That's actually a usable size pair of scissors. That that's cool. And then they fold like that. I always hate the little scissors in these because they have a little tiny handles and they're just completely useless. That that right there seems just downright handy. Okay, now we gotta be smarter than the other side to start getting these tools out. There is, put this knife up. There is a little saw right there. It's got a point on the tip, too. It's a nice kind of a one of those little double blades. That might actually that might actually work, unlike a lot of things on multi-tools. You know, we we get into some interesting stuff on these. It seems like they get carried away putting stuff that we didn't need so much. Okay, here we go. 
We have a file, a Phillips, a bottle opener, a little slotted on the end of that. It's almost two sizes of a bottle opener. Another very sharp knife hidden in between. There you go. There's all the goodies on that deal right there. And it looks like when we close this, there's actually a glass breaker right on the tip of that. That's all I can think that that would be. A little bitty, little bitty carbide looking point. And I am not sure what this little release right. Oh, okay. That's what it's for. I'll tell you what. Isn't it fun watching me actually figure this crap out? It's got a little switch right here on the side. You push that and it flips all these tools up so you can pick the one you want without having to try to dig your finger into a slot. Has this little deal right here. Push them down. You want them out? Just push that button up and you get all three at one time. Choose the one you want. Put them down. Little clip on that side. And just a classy little package. I would actually have that in my little kit mainly just for the scissors and that little bitty sharp knife. That, that's handy right there. I like those scissors. Thank you guys for checking this stuff out. Links are down below. Carbon fiber scales on this, actually. Isn't that one pretty little knife right there? I like that. That's the Rubato 4, and that's with the S35VN steel right there. So actually, nice little knife. See you guys on the next one. I want to take my kids to Branson. We're going to go ride some rides this weekend. Hope you guys are doing something fun, too.